live from Fox 31 Denver, this is Good Day Colorado. You know why I pulled you over? Depends on how long you were following me. Eesh. Why don't we just take it from the top? Here goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. Is that all? No. No, he's got unpaid parking tickets in his glove box. <laughs> you know this movie. There they are. I told you. Unfortunately, it isn't usually this easy for police to get the whole story when they stop someone on the road. But now law enforcement has a new tool in an effort to get the truth. It's new lie detection technology called iDetect, Denver-based accountability polygraph services, first company in Colorado, and one of the first in the country to use this new technology. So we decided to try it out on this guy. Yep. Hey, here comes JP. Come on in, JP. He's the one that gave you the test. So before we get to you, JP, thank you for grilling Ken, by the way. How did it go? Uh, I'm the father. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all we have the God. result. You are not the father. <laughs> JP, good to have you. I'm Kirk, by the way. Thank you, Kirk. That's true. That's not a lie. It is, it is true. <laughs> so the process, it uses your eyes. How does it work? Um, well, what happens with this test, the, the eye detect test, uh, a normal test takes about 30 minutes. The shortened version that uh, Ken took is about a 10-minute test. But over that 30 minutes, uh, the test will measure, take about 90,000 different pictures of your eyes using a high-sensitive wow. infrared, infrared, infrared camera that monitors 16 different elements of change within the eyes. Things like pupil dilation, blink rate, response time, um, eye fixation, things of that nature. It's true that the eyes don't lie, huh? This is true. This is absolutely <laughs> true. And you walked in, uh, literally, from getting the results. How did he do? Because he tried to lie, right? Oh, well, and that was the, the, the way this test was set up is we had Ken write down a number between 1 and 10. And while asked questions about 1 and 10, tell the truth on the other questions and lie about his question. Got it. And uh, some of the test questions on this particular test, to add a little bit more focus, can be a little bit confusing. And Ken, you did mi mis uh, mix up a couple of the answers well, on the course. I'm like, which part was I supposed to lie And that's about? fine. Um, you can't lie about confusion. That's just yeah, no, it's <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I nailed that one. Were you guys able to tell, though, what, which ones he was lying about? Uh, I, I have not seen what number Ken wrote down at this point. Okay. But the number that uh, the eye detect system found that you... Uh, had written down was the number six. That is that is true. Now, to be totally honest, I did leave that number sitting out on the table because <laughs> this pen oh. wasn't working. But then did I, was you? Like, okay. I was like, oh, okay, but I did. I wrote down number six. So there it, you go. It was able Pretty to cool. figure out exactly what I was like because we can't control how our pupils react. I mean, exactly, that's, exactly. That's an involuntary thing that that no matter how hard we try, we can't. We can't be. Absolutely. So, but it's not perfect either. I mean, we no, know lie no. detectors aren't perfect, and this isn't 100% perfect. No. The, the eye detect technology, most recent study came out literally last week, yeah. shows the eye detect uh, in a screening process at 86% accurate. How does that compare to, you know, getting hooked up with 15 million wires, the typical classic polygraph? Well, and by trade, I am a polygraph right. examiner, and in screening tests, it's right about the same thing. Okay. One of the benefits of the eye detect is it's faster and cheaper than traditional polygraph. A traditional polygraph, I can run four a day. Yeah. Theoretically, I could run about 30 eye detects in a wow. day. So if we're screening a large pool of candidates for, say, a police or fire hire or a, a, a screening for uh, security officers sure. or things of that nature. Does this, does this technology allow it to be used in court cases, in legal cases? Does it approach that level? Um, we're getting there. Now, one of the benefits to eye detect is there are seven peer-reviewed studies showing the accuracy of this test. One of the struggles we've had with polygraph in the past is with the numerous different types of polygraph tests that can be run, there's only one polygraph testing technique that comes close to that level of peer-reviewed data. So it's a lot easier to stand up in a courtroom and say, here's the studies backing right. up what we're doing. Here's the results we found. Well, that's the thing with polygraph is that it's not always admissible yeah. in court. Uh, is this going to be different or kind of the same? We're hoping it's going to be different. Because now, of that research that you talked about. Absolutely. Yeah. And now, the inventors of the eye detect technology are, is actually the same team that invented the computerized polygraph wow. back in 1992. And this technology has been worked on since about 2002. And it's just coming to the States now. It's been used extensively overseas and sure. in Mexico for screening process, things of that nature. Now, Kirk and I are parents. <laughs> Can parents get a hold of the technology? They got a cute little chin rest for kids. 
You know, you set them down at the table. We're going to find out. All I got to do is threaten video games, and I get the truth you every time. It? You get it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is this One of the drawbacks of the eye detect is it's not totally customizable like that. Uh, we have 500 different preset structures. Got it that we can use for pre-employment screening for certain types of criminal specific cases, things of that nature. One of the benefits to polygraph testing, traditional polygraph testing, is we can customize a test on the spot, on the spot, which we're not able to with the eye detect. So there's pluses and minuses to the different technologies out there. So kids are safe. <laughs> we just have for to now, use our spidey guys. intuition as parents. Well, thank you for coming in and talking Who's about this. It's really cool and it's like something that's happening right here in Colorado. You didn't give me the proper reaction for the uh, father results like they do on the show. <laughs> what, you want to point at the law? Uh, look, you can see it's and got you the are not the father. The same you're supposed to jump theory. up and down. Oh, no! told you we got cheers everybody accepted the fact that was <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate fun. being here thank you you failed I, no i passed <laughs> oh, you passed i lied you passed <laughs> we'll be right back